So we're going to have a look at um, taking the needle threader off this VR. The uh, needle threader is the um, unit, is the grey plastic piece up the back with the um, two little hooks, arms and hooks sticking out. The trouble is it's tucked up on, underneath there and um, it's quite difficult to get at. When you lower it, you can lower it without the needle, but you still can't get it off because it comes off, it slides to the left. And of course, um, the presser foot's in the way. So we need to um, first off lower it. And we, what we try to do is to lower it um, halfway or nearly to the needle so that the um, presser foot's not in the way, but it's in its lowest position. To do that, we need to um, get into the casing. So you've got um, white tabs on top of these screws. And there's three that we need to have a look at. There's one there, one there, and also one there. So if we take this one out, then we can loosen the casing here. And that should allow the top casing to come off clipped into each other and that allows us to get to this bit which is the arm so we've got the machine turned off can't do this with the machine turned on we're going to very gently push that down and as we push it down the needle threader is going to appear so the needle threader itself the gray bit sits on the shaft which runs through and it's held in place by a spring so when you get the needle threader off you need to watch the spring on the shaft also that this the shaft is loose the needle threader actually holds the shaft in place so it does wiggle about a bit now what you can do is take this screw out here and that allows for this side of the casing to um, be pulled apart so you can get more closely to the needle threader Get the thread out of the way and you'll see on the left hand side there there's a clip which clips into the bar you lift the clip up with something like a, a very thin screwdriver or an unpicker and then the needle threader itself will slide off the shaft once this is um, pulled slightly out, we can get that needle threader right off, off the shaft and replace it. You can see the spring at the back and there's a location shaft at the front. So when you put it on, it needs to line up with both of these shafts and you will need to hold this shaft um, tight. Otherwise, all it'll do is just push through. Um, pop that back on and then we don't need to push it back up. If we just turn the machine back on, the machine will automatically retract that back up into its um, start position. But what we do need to make sure is that the needle threader is pushed all the way across. If it's sitting incorrectly, when it's lowered, it will crash into the needle and bend again. 